Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. We haven't done a walkthrough video on a Class C motorhome for a while, so let's do that today. This is a new model, it's a Jayco 27U. This is a Greyhawk, and there's some neat features I want to point out about this unit to you. Above all, it's short and it's lightweight, it's less than 30 feet long. It's kind of rare to get into a motorhome that's less than 30 feet long. This is a nice little couples camper and it's easy to maneuver. Most of the time you're getting into the 32, 34, 36 feet range. With this, you're less than 30 feet long. We have an 18 foot awning up on top. And with all Jayco's, they specialize in optimizing the ride quality for you. This has got the J-Ride Plus feature on it. And the J-Ride Plus consists of a, no, a number of neat things. There's computer balanced drive shaft, Coney shocks, heavy duty rear stabilizing bar, front stabilizing bar. They put Helwig helper springs and finally rubber isolation mounts. Add all those up together and it really increases uh, improves the ride, I should say. It makes a difference. I've owned a Jayco motorhome myself, and those components put together maximize the ride quality in a Jayco. Now on the Greyhawk, I wanna point out a few things on the outside before we go on the inside. This has a one-piece fiberglass roof. That's what distinguishes this not only from the Red Hawks, but most other manufacturers. It's a one-piece fiberglass roof. What else is a one-piece fiberglass? Is this whole cap assembly, over the cab assembly. There's no seam here. Notice there's no seam underneath, there's no seam in front. It's all impervious to moisture. Also, I call these the flares, that's not the real name for them, but notice this is a one-piece fiberglass section right here. There's also no place for moisture to get in. A lot of times you'll see other manufacturers put seams in here and it's a great place for water intrusion. Finally, there's fiberglass all along the, the bottom here so it trims out the whole coach and makes it look nice and neat. Now this is on an E450 uh, chassis. It's a 7.3 liter uh, engine, eight, uh, V8. Uh, so you got a lot of power. There's different storage compartments around the outside so we'll do a quick walk around on the outside. Now notice these are slam latch doors with roto cast in here. So if you do happen to get moisture in here, never worry. These are motion sensor lights. So when you open up these doors and you have your hands full, the lights are gonna come on. You have access to your propane fill right here. Have our water heater access and refrigerator panel access. Of course, our furnace vent here. We have another slam latch door here, again with rotocast insert. You can never have too much storage. These aren't huge storage areas, but they're nice little storage areas. And I appreciate every little bit of storage I can get. It's important to note too that Jayco is exclusive in the way they do their fiberglass wall systems. It's vacuum bonded. The floor, the walls, and are all vacuum bonded on this coach. So it's a quality vacuum bonding process. 144 tons for 16 minutes removes, pretty much removes the possibility of any of these becoming delaminated over the course of time. Now here's our little utility bay. Notice the light popped on as soon as I opened it up. There's a little, pop this up and we can run our hoses up through here for our water connections. And then it's labeled here, depending on whether you're gonna fill the water tank, have fresh water supply. We have a shower nozzle right here. Again, rotocast, and there's valves in here for your low point drain when it comes time to winterize the coach. And then you have a larger storage compartment over here. Again, with those motion sensor lights, gray and black valves right below, easily accessible and nicely labeled. When you're looking at other brands and you should shop around, check and see how sturdy the doors are or aren't. Notice these are nice slam latch. Uh, this is really, really stout, so it makes a tight fit along this rubber gasket all the way around. Little shallow uh, storage compartment there, and then here's where our power cord uh, lives for the coach. This one has a 4K generator on board that lives in this compartment 
here easily accessible. So let's go inside and have a look. Again, this is a Greyhawk 27U. This is the shortest Greyhawk in the Greyhawk family. So if you're looking for something that's maneuverable, maybe you don't have a big place to store it, this might be the ticket. Frameless windows out here and a nice big window in the door itself. Can't have too many windows when you're taking these out and exploring North America. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay, now we're on the inside of this Greyhawk 27U. You know, Jayco's always conscious about safety. And what you'll notice in every Jayco is there's seat belts in every seating location in a motorhome. So we've got seat belts here, there's seat belts in the dinette area, and of course your captain chairs up front, there's always going to be seat belts. So you never have to sacrifice safety if you've got the kids with you or guests with you, there's always going to be seat belts in all seating locations. Now this is a, it's a class C, so we've got an overhead bunk up front, fun place to hang out and sleep, but plenty of room for a couple to sleep up there. This converts into a sleeping surface, and then of course we have a nice big king bed back here too. So there's lots of sleeping options in this coach. Let's start up front before I go to the back of the coach. This is a neat feature here. This flips up to give easy access to the cab. So if we need it to be a bed and a sleeping surface, we have it. Of course we have a ladder here and some little storage compartments up there. When it's time to watch TV, we can pull this Insignia brand TV out for a better viewing, viewing angle for uh, the recliner seats. But if you want to have the TV up here in the bunk, right there it is. Now we also have some netting that clips up right here. It's got a 300 pound rating, so it keeps folks from rolling out of bed uh, during the night or the kids and it drops down in front here. Anyway, when it's time to access the cab, just give this a push and drop it down. Now I can step down in here. Now I've had class C's before that didn't have this and I had to kind of maneuver my way down. This way I can stand up, sit down into the driver's seat. Makes it a whole lot easier for getting in and out of the living area behind. Now we've got a nice nine inch Sony infotainment center here. So this has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay both on it. So it makes it real easy to stream music from your phone via Bluetooth through the coach here. Um, as you can see, it's got Sirius XM, of course your normal radio settings. Also your camera, your rear camera view is gonna show up here too. So V8 Ford, we've got controls on the door here. You've got your heated uh, and mirror controls here on either side of the door. Little storage compartments up here. So multiple places to have beverages and you can toss some things up in front too for storage. Very comfortable. Stepping back into the living quarters. This is a neat thing uh, that Jayco's done for years is this table assembly in the dinette. When it's time to convert this into a bed, you simply lift up and then just drop it down remove these cushions and this becomes the, the bed, uh, bed surface and spread the cushions out. Pop it back up, make sure they catch and that's all there is to it. It's just that easy. Now we have roller shades everywhere. These aren't pleated shades. These are nice soft clothes roller shades. So total darkening for privacy and blackout. Love the roller shades. Before I go to the back, I'll point out right inside the door, we have some important controls here. So we have our auto leveling system. Four point auto leveling lives right here inside the door. Our awning controls and of course exterior light. We have the power step, speaker inside or speaker outside. So I can push music to the outside speakers if I want to. Of course your uh, battery disconnect right here. So right in here handy. A lot of people say, well, why is it down there? When you open up the door, it's right at eye level where it's convenient. Nice reclining chairs here. So when it's time at the end of the day, after you've spent the whole day at the parks at Disney, you can come in here and crash. A little bit of storage and cup holders in the console area here. Solid surface countertops and nice big microwave over a three burner Furion cooktop. 
We have these blue backlighting and a nice little oven. Not a huge oven, big enough for pizzas and pot pies and those kinds of things. Jayco's long been famous for their cabinet building quality and it shows right here. This is the modern farmhouse decor. Very popular, it has been ever since Jayco came out with this. They've been a trendsetter, you might say. Um, solid maple cabinet doors. The styles are pocket screwed and the whole assembly is screwed to the framing member of the coach. So it's a real stout assembly. Continuing over to this side, we have a Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Of course, our freezer compartment on top. And I like that they put matching inserts here. So this actually looks like a piece of cabinetry and it goes along with the same pattern of the rest of the cabinetry. Little pantry storage next to the refrigerator. Again, we're less than 30 feet long, but an abundance of storage on this coach. We have dual AC units on this. So we have an AC in the main area as well as one right here in the bedroom. So they're ducted and you're gonna stay cool in this thing with these dual AC units. Now coming back into the bedroom, I really love this. Lots of space, plenty of room for me to access the bed both from this side or the other side. If I reach up here, I've got a nice little night light, tap it again and you have a reading light, same way on the other side. Very comfortable, makes it easy to make the bed, makes it easy to get in and out of the bed. Now this thing hinges up, so you can flip this back over when the slide comes in. This bed assembly is in the slide. Slide switch is right here behind me. Look at all this storage, wow. So we have adjustable shelves over here, so these are infinitely adjustable. We have drawers here and here. Speaking of cabinet build, these are 75 pound ball bearing drawer glides on these drawers. Again, Jayco's always been famous for their cabinet building quality. LED lights throughout. Have a look at the bathroom here. Pretty spacious bathroom. Step in shower, I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room to maneuver in here. Notice there's a hanging rod here for clothes. So if you want to hang some clothes in here for storage, you can do that. Um, we've got our shower tower right here with pedestal, little shelves on the side. Plenty of room to maneuver in here. We have a glass shower enclosure. Makes it real stylish. Again, we're the Greyhawk trim line here. Nice area here with a little sink, stainless steel sink with black fixtures. And yes, we have a medicine cabinet here as well. Always like to sit down here just to give you an idea of the space, spaciousness here. Again, I'm six feet tall, fairly long legs, and there's, there's room for me to move in here. And as always, Jayco does think of everything. Everything you need to do in the room right here. Now we're at a 27U, less than 30 feet long. How about this? Not only can you hang some clothes in there, we've got a clothes bar up here and two drawers below. So if you're taking off on a weekend or even a week long trip, there's plenty of room to store the clothes, plenty of room to store your groceries up here. I can show you how this door works since I'm standing right here. Not really a pocket door because it runs on a track on either side here, but you can have privacy in here and tuck it away. And this is pretty wide, so it really opens this area up. So uh, gives you a feeling of spaciousness up here. Pop this guy up for extra prep area when you need it. Drop it down when you don't. We have an outlet right under here. Um, I walked right by this and didn't point it out. We have an inverter on here, so um, you've got outlets that remain hot here from the inverter. All right, of course your thermostat. There's a little power stick right here for household current and USB current as well. Now the lighting in this is neat too and very classy. Notice there's lighting under the countertop. There's lighting above the slide room too. So with just those lights on, it makes for a real pleasant night light at night. If you just want enough light to find your way around, maybe you're watching TV or whatever, really nice. We do have a little bit of storage up top here. 
there's a little storage area in here as well. Right next to this cabinet, we have uh, controls for our tank heaters. So you have tank uh, uh, holding tank heaters, your water pump, your LP uh, gas on for your water heater or electric on your water heater. You can run it either way. Your slide controls and then your generator hour meter and start and stop, of course. And then we can check our levels of our holding tanks here as well, all in this little control panel, easy, easy to access. So again, we're at a 27U. This is a new model for Jayco. It's the smallest of the Greyhawk family. I've got a couple of these here at Vaught RV. We have another model of Greyhawk. If you want to know the differences between a Red Hawk and Gray Hawk, let us know. Sometime we'll do a comparison video between the Red Hawks and the Gray Hawks and point out the differences. But come out and have a look for yourself. Hey, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe and check back here often for more videos just like this. See you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vaught RV.